the extract was uh, dissolved in water on a water bath. So then 2 ml of solution in the test tube was added and volume with 1 ml each of the filling solution A and B. The mixture was shaken and heated in a water bath for 10 minutes. The brick red precipitated indicates dilution is the Test for protein. Extract was treated with few drops of concentrated nitric acid. The formation of yellow, yellow color indicates the presence of proteins. Test for phytocerol. One gram of extract was treated with chloroform and, and treated, then it treated with few drops of acetic uh, anhydride, boil, anhydride boiled and cooled, then concentrated sulfuric acid added to the side of that test tube. The formation of brown color ring at the junction of two uh, liquids confirmed the presence of steroids. Test for oil and fats. Press the extract in between the two filter papers. The, the permanent stain indicates its toil. The extract was treated with few drops of 0.5 normal potassium hydroxide and few drops of phenolphthalein and then heated. The formation of soap indicates fixed of oil and fats. Then fluorescent analysis um, of the plant powder was observed in uh, daylight and UV light in a UV chamber after treating with the different chemical reagents in, is reported. It's in the result you can see. It can be a diagnostic tool for testing adaptation. The quantitative study was done in phyto, the phytochemical that determined the alkaloids and the, determin the determination of flavonoids and determination of saponin and determination of glycosides and determination of lignins and determination of uh, phytoserides and determination of fixed oil. This is the result. We come to the result. This shows the fluorescent analysis of Sida corticolia in different. Um, chemical reagents. The phytochemical screening of the ethanol extract for cytochromia is a alkaloids, carb carbohydrates is absent, the canning is absent. The quantitative um, phytochemical evaluation of cytochromia indicates high alkaloids and glycosides, 0.19 saponins and uh, phytoserides, total flavonoids, lignins, fixed oil. The micronutrient analysis of cytochromia is contain carb carbohydrates reducing sugar, protein, fixed oil, and fats. Phytochemical training result indicates the presence of phenolic compounds, flavonoids, phytosterol, alkaloids, glycosides, and saponin. The phenolic compounds major group, uh, the major group of the group to the number of the secondary metabolic uh, antioxidant activity in the, of the plant. The presence of phenolic compounds in the plant indicates that this plant may have the ability to ability as an antimicrobial agent. Most active principles in the plant, flavonoids, the plants have flavonoids, steroids, uh, glycosides, and phytoids. These phytoconstituents have uh, responsible for pharmacological actions, wound healing, cholesterol lowering, and anti-diabetic activity. The future study states that the, um, these have the action of wound healing, cholesterol lowering, and anti-diabetic activities. The phytosterols are an important breakthrough in the human fight against high cholesterol. It has been known that the plant steroids provides are antioxidants. These oxidants are antioxidants are compounds that reduce the formation of free radicals or react with a new, react with and neutralize them, thus potentially protection, the, protecting the cell from oxidative Damage. The result of the micronutrient analysis showed that the presence of the carbon, carbohydrate, fats, protein, producer, and oil were present. This was shown in table 4. Micronutrients, proteins, carbohydrates, and reducing sugar are involved in the energy giving and bodybuilding function of Sida To the conclusion, Sida cordifolia can be used to treat diabetic mellitus, carcinoma, heart disease, and bronchial asthma. Therefore, the extracts from these could be seen as a good source for useful drugs, and it is suggested that the further work is in progress to isolate, purify, and characterize the active constituent responsible for the activity of this plant. Thank you. These are my references.
actually I have a uh, very serious comment uh, for you all. I would not recommend to screen such type of essay in future because uh, they are ambiguous, fairly speaking. Especially in, in crude extract, you will never ever show the presence of uh, alkaloid and all those things on the basis of these tests. These tests have already been oscillated. Okay. So, as far as the presence of a particular class of compound, is uh, what I would recommend to use uh, in, a, in a crude extract. You can use LCNMR just for screening, LCMS. So, on these two data, you would be confidently identify a class of compound as well as few compounds as well. And that would be publishable and appreciable. So this is my simple intervention. Thank you. Yes, sir, to find out what is happening with these decoctions and whatever you have mentioned is highly commendable. I have no doubt whatsoever in the world. But the final conclusion where you have said categorically this is going to be effective in passing over, you will get into serious trouble with the forum because you know, I have not tried to criticize, but you should have very solid evidence to say that this is effective against passing over. There are other things you can say. But please pay attention to that video. Thank you. Uh, this is just in the most of the ingredients, I mean, just uh, acute components in plants, seasonal. So you said you have connected to it seven months, maybe two months. Why do you do connect it throughout the year? Just to see the. Hello, uh, I'm just telling when you want to isolate the equipment of ingredients, select the right time of the year. Otherwise, you won't give it. The some components are seasonal. Thank you. 